How can you pick good stocks? How do you manage risk? How do you become a successful trader? How do you achieve the mentality of the professionals? I will teach you all of that in this video. But first, I want you to overlook the fact that I'm recording this in my bedroom. If you want somebody talking to you in a mansion, go watch Logan Paul or something like that. And if you don't like my video editing, then click away. Go watch PewDiePie because that's where you belong. Now, if you want to think like a professional trader, pay attention. Now, first, let me tell you, if you are not a day trader yet because you don't have $25,000 in your broker's account. I want you to think again. I want you to stop buying Doritos, Gatorade, sneaker shoes, video games, going to the movies. I want you to stop wasting your money. If you want to take this seriously, dude, you got to save money. I'm in a small apartment right now, but... Who can tell me that I'm not stacking money right now? That's your goal, dude. Don't, don't hate. Don't complain. Oh, I wish I had more money. I can't make good trades like the guys on Wall Street because I don't have enough money. The game is rigged. Listen, dude. Stack money, dude. Stack some paper. That's your goal. Ask your grandma for some money. Ask your dad, your sister, anyone. Do Uber. Save money. Have a side hustle. Whatever it takes. If you don't become a day trader, dude, it's because you're not taking this seriously. Look at your expenses. And again, I'm, 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 not, I'm not trying to say that if you're not a day trader, you, you, you're not in the, in, in the right direction, but that should be your goal. Your goal is to achieve freedom, okay? And, and I don't really agree with the uh, $25,000 rule, but it is what it is, right? Now, you got to stack paper. That's your goal, $25,000. Don't try to don't try to become rich overnight. It's not about that. If you want to make trading stocks your career, you got to save some money. And you got to stop wasting the money you already have. So that's number 1. Okay? Now don't judge me if you see me in my bedroom here. You don't know what's in my pocket. So if you want to hate, go ahead. If you want to learn, keep watching. I've been doing this for years. You don't believe me? Send me a DM. I'll, I'll send you some screenshots. Now, I don't mean that you don't, you shouldn't reward yourself every now and then. No, that's not what I mean. Actually, if you reward yourself, especially if, if you've been making money consistently, psychologically, that will motivate you to keep going and become better every day. That's fact. Reward yourself. Don't waste money. Save money. And stop trying to impress other people. If, if, if you want to just pretend that you're rich and, and, and take pictures of yourself with some monitors and Gucci shirts, go ahead, keep doing that. But I can tell you right now, you ain't going anywhere. You're just a wannabe. Now, if you want to take this seriously, you take this seriously. You want to think and become a professional trader, a successful trader, you gotta start thinking like such. Listen, 
No one can predict the market. I don't care if you're the best analyst. I tell you right now and I will repeat it. No one can predict the market. Think about all the different patterns. Bullish flag, bearish flag, ascending triangle. All of that, all that is bull, man. No one can predict the future. Now you can manage your risk, yes. If you understand the trend of a company, right? The growth, the value, and if you find support and resistance. That I understand. Those are the best indicators, dude. But no one can really understand or predict the reaction of thousands, if not millions. No one can predict the psychology of the masses. No one knows what's going to happen tomorrow. So it's not about predicting the market. It's about discipline. And the way you achieve discipline is by analyzing yourself, not the market. Not the market. Okay, so how do you become a day trader? You make that your goal. Every day. You wake up, you think about it. You go to sleep, you think about it. You got one goal and one goal only. And that's to save $25,000. I don't care if you have to work at a car wash. I don't care if you have to go do Uber. You go ahead and do that. That's your goal. Now, do you want to be a long-term investor? Is that your, your game plan? I can tell you right now, that's easy too. That's easy. Go ahead and look at the airline sector, at the travel sector. Do you actually think that people will stop flying? Do you actually think that people will start flying and traveling again? So if you want to be a long-term investor, go and find some of those cheap airline stocks. Delta, American Airlines, Spirit, you know, whatever. Buy some airline stocks. They're going to go up eventually in five years, three years, right? Because you want to be a long-term investor. You can even buy some Lyft stocks. It's around $30 today. I think in one or two years, it could go back up to like $60. And if it doesn't go up as you predicted, oh well, there is always risk in investments. So you want to be a long-term investor? Stop trying to time the market so we get that out of the way how do you manage risk how do you manage risk you do that you achieve that you manage risk like a professional trader when before you place a trade you set your limits okay you buy you buy a little bit under under support okay there is you find the support i believe in support and resistance and the trend those are the indicators i think that work best those are solid indicators and good confirmations you find support but you place your limit order a little bit under and if the 
price doesn't reach your limit order, oh well, you move on. You move on. You move on. The market will still be here 10 years from now. The market is not going anywhere. Unless, of course, the end of the world comes. That's a different story. But next year, we will have more IPOs and more opportunities. So you want to manage your risk, place your limit order. I would strongly say suggest below, below, a little bit below support. Why? Because you want to buy lower than most of the people, right? So most of the people will try to buy a support, but you could be the one who buy lower and then sell at support. It doesn't matter as long as you make a profit. Remember, you're a salesperson. You don't buy stocks to collect them. You don't buy stocks just to collect them. You buy stocks because you want to sell them later at a higher price. And it doesn't matter if the price is one cent higher. You can make a profit. So how do you manage risk? You set your limits below support. Now, before you place your order, you have to predetermine how much are you willing to lose. I'm telling you, this is knowledge right here. This is knowledge. You want to learn? Keep watching. You don't believe me? You want to just... You just want me to hand you money? That's what you want? Click away. You ain't going to find that here. I want you to become a successful professional trader. Getting a reliable income. And your first step, your first step is to achieve $25,000. And the number one rule is not to lose money. Protect your broker's account. Protect your broker's account. That's the number one rule. And the second rule is not to forget the first rule, right? You heard that before. It's not mine. But it's the truth. Protect. Protect is better to break even than to lose money. Protect your broker's account. It's better to make $5 than attempt to make 1000 and lose it all. Do you agree? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I don't know what I'm talking about? Challenge me. Ask me any questions. Ask me any question in the comments below. Do you think I care if you make money or not? Do you think I care? It's not about that. Do you think I'm arrogant? Do you think I'm just trying to be YouTube famous? What I don't care. Teaching you is the way I teach myself. Teaching you is the way I remind myself what I have to do. Okay, so you got your main goal. Protect your broker's account. Try to achieve $25,000. And trying to save $25,000 doesn't have to be in the stock market. Like I said, you go, you shine some shoes. You, 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 you sell some merch. You, you you drive, you know, you do some Uber, Uber, you, 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 whatever it takes. Become a hustler because you want to become a successful trader. You want to make this your full-time job. You want to achieve freedom, right? Because this is better than the 9 to 5. You don't have to answer to no boss. You do whatever you want. Now, I want you to have the shark mentality. Right? You, have you seen the shark tank? Wait, do you know what a lone shark is? They take advantage of people, right? They do. Because they charge high interest rates. But that's the mentality. 
you got to have the mentality of a dealer. All right? And remember, this is battle royale. Everybody's against you. So you got to think. You got to think above the rest. You want me to just tell you what you want to hear? Tell you that Tesla will be $2,000 next year? You want me to tell you that? I could do that. And if I'm wrong, who cares, right? I told you what you wanted to hear. No, I'm training you how to become a successful trader. I don't care if you're a lady, if you're a guy, if you're old, if you're young, if you're a teenager. I'm telling you, stack some paper, stop wasting your money, don't buy with fear of missing out, don't try to chase it, they're going to drop it on you, because everybody has the same goal, and that's to buy low and sell high, once it's high, I'm going to sell, I'm going to lock in some profits, dude, I don't care if you bought high, I'm going to dump it on you because in the stock market, you're not my friend. I'm by myself. This is battle royale. I'm by myself in the stock market. Out here, I tell you. I tell you. Out here, I tell you. Save some money. Make it your goal. Now, once you have $25,000, don't become overconfident. Don't start over trading because that's another mistake. Place your limit orders under, below, lower than the rest. And, 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 and the same applies, right, if, if you're short in the market, right? That, that, that means that you have to place your orders a little bit higher than resistance, right? Now, if the trade doesn't go your way, right? I want you to cut losses quick. It's happened to me plenty of times. I try to average down. I try to hang on to the losers. I try to buy some more because I don't want to be wrong and I end up hurting myself. Now, how do you pick good stocks? I'll tell you how. Only trade a few companies. Don't try to diversify so much and try to, because you're going to end up losing. Master a few companies. I don't care if it's just Tesla, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, and Google. And now, nowadays, you can't even buy fractional shares, right? So you don't even need $2,500 to buy a, a, an entire share of Amazon. You can buy some fractional shares, but master, master only a few companies. And if they're blue chip companies, even better yet. I can tell you, I can make money with every company. But, but I will study the company first. I will, like a boxer, I will study. I will study the company. I will find resistance. I will find the trend. I will find support. I will try to understand what's low, what's high, when it's earnings report, when is the ex-dividend date. Am I going to find a good opportunity on next dividend date because the price will drop a little bit? I will if I have to. I will master. I will understand only a few companies. Do you want me to just tell you the names? I could tell you, dude, by Tesla. It's going to be $2,000 before 2030. I could tell you that. Go buy some BP stock. It's under $25. I think it's going to be 40 before 2025. People will start driving again and traveling. I could tell you that. And most likely I'm right. 
So I could tell you, I could tell you what's the next hit, what's the next, I could try to pump some shares that I already own. Is that what you want me to do? You want me to rent a Lamborghini and show you some paper and try to brag and tell you that I, I'm a successful trader and, and I can sell you the list of stocks that will make a hit next year in exchange in exchange of, of in exchange of your email address or buy my next seminar. I could do all of that. I'm not doing it. I'm teaching you if you understand what I'm saying here. I'm not using complicated lingo. This is a shooting star and once you reach here you gotta sell. This is a hammer and, and this is head and shoulders and when you see this pattern. I could do all of that. None of that matters. You can take all your charts and do whatever you want with them. You don't like the way I teach? Do I scream a lot? Go ahead and do that. Please. Please, in a simple way. Listen. Listen. Only master a few companies. Five. You want me to tell you the names? I already did. Apple, Microsoft, Tesla. Google, Amazon. I told you the names. Master those companies. Who the CEO is, what's low, what's high, what was a year ago, what's today, what's the growth, when is earnings report, when is ex dividend date, how much do they pay in dividends. Find out all of that. Are they growth stocks or dividend stocks? If I ask you any question, about those few companies, you gotta, you better answer me. If not, that means you 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 haven't mastered them. You, and and if and if you want to buy, you know, affordable stock, go into the airline sector, long term. People will travel again unless it's the end of the world. People will take cruises again. Lift will go up eventually unless it just collapses and, 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 and people go back to taxis. I'm telling you, I'm telling you all the secrets here. I'm trying to save you some time, energy and money. Am I taking some views because you're watching my videos? Oh, well, you can't be that selfish, right? How do you manage risk? You place you, you place your orders under support. And if you're gonna get some puts, buy them above resistance. And talking about options, talking about options. Listen, I can trade Tesla options, but don't buy the most expensive ones. I make I, I, I try to find options for two weeks ahead, right? I don't want to buy them for the same week because I could get trapped. I buy them for the, for next week, but I buy the cheap ones. I'm a day trader myself. But you could buy you, you could be a swing trader. Buy the ones that are $800, $700. And if it, if you lose 100 sell it. Move on. You lost 100 So what? Be a man. You lost 100 Accept that you were wrong. You just made the wrong move. But how do you achieve the, the, the professional trader mentality? Listen, you got to keep your feelings away, dude. Fear away, greed away. And again, you're not wrong. You are not wrong if the market took the wrong turn. It's not your fault. Don't let it work with your self-esteem. Why me? 
oh, I'm so stupid. I should have waited. I should have sold. Forget about it. Don't be too harsh on yourself. Every morning, I look at myself in the mirror. And I say, I am the best trader out there. And I actually believe it, believe it or not. I don't gotta be Warren Buffett. I don't, I don't care. I believe it. Why? Because if I manage my risk, I cut my losses and I take profits as soon as I can, I'm a, and I'm an excellent trader. It's about my discipline. It's not about predicting the market. It's not about how good an, of an analyst I am. Don't try to predict the market. I'm giving you gold here. I understand I'm not a $100 bill. Probably not everybody likes me. I don't care. And if you think I scream too much, lower the volume. Lower the volume. Lower the volume. I'm giving you gold. Now I understand it's hard for you to share this video because like I said, everybody's against you in the stock market. But if you want, share with your cousin, nephew, aunt, niece, brother, father, mother, anyone who you want or who you care for, share this video with that person. Go ahead and dominate the market. Become a shark. Become a professional trader. But you got to be disciplined. Master this. When you wake up in the morning, say, I am the best trader there is. And leave your feelings out of the market. If you lose $100, $200, depends on your account, right? $300, sell it. Cut it. You were wrong. But who cares if you were wrong? That's why you're on, you, you are your own boss, right? That's why you trade, because it gives you freedom. You don't got to answer to no one. Unless you, you know, you work for an investment company. Otherwise, be a man. You lost $100, don't go do Uber in the evenings. Get those $200 back, come back. That's the mentality. That's the mentality of a dealer, of a salesman, of a shark, of an aggressive investor. Thank you for watching. Bulls and bears, I'll see you in the next one. Be safe out there.